The number one question I get after a cyber attack is, are we ready and are we capable of recovering quickly and confidently from, from a cyber attack? Now, what I want to discuss with you here is the importance of having a completely isolated environment that your data will remain intact. It'll give you a clean room and a location that you can recover to that's completely isolated from your production environment. By the way, I'm Demetrius Malbro, Cloud Advocate here at Veritas, and I'll show you all of this in TLDR fashion, all right? So your typical backup environment is going to look something like this. Let's say this is your primary production site, and you have a backup server there where you are backing that data up to some type of storage, and Let's say that that storage, just to give you the added protection, you have a mutable storage over here, as well as taking it an extra step further, indelible, so that data is read-only, and it gives just an added layer of security to make sure that that data cannot be modified or changed. Of course, you wanna tap into the zero trust principles of utilizing multi-factor authentication in your backup environment. And you're gonna have all different types of workloads, right? Could be virtual, Hyper-V, VMware, databases, Oracle, SQL, maybe even open source databases, or maybe even containers like Kubernetes, right? Your data is gonna be running on all these different flavors of operating systems and infrastructure, and your applications are gonna be different as well. So sending that data to storage. And what's important here is that your backup solution should have the capability with artificial intelligence built in to give you that anomaly detection and also some malware scanning to identify further abnormalities in the data. Maybe the backup size has changed or something has changed with the normal frequency of that backup that can be detected through an automated fashion. So let's talk about the isolated recovery environment or IRE and why it's important. It's important because it will further prevent your data from being destructed, right? Or tampered with. So you will have number one, an air gap capability over here where it's completely segmented off the network and what's happening here is just a pool you're pulling the data into this environment and that may be on a scheduled basis so you're also going to have that firewall right that firewall maybe blocking your your inbound ports as well so the bad guys can't push malware or anything else into that isolated recovery environment. So you, of course, gonna have another backup server here. You're gonna have multi-factor authentication turned on. Also going to be storing that data, right, into some type of appliance. And maybe you might even have worm storage on this side as well, which give you that further added capability, write once, read many. And you will also have anomaly detection and malware scanning also turned on as well to identify any abnormalities in that data. So what's super key and critical here is making sure that you have that air gap capability, preventing any data from being pushed in and an added bonus is also making sure that your backup solution ties into your SOAR. You may have a security operations center, so that's your security orchestration, automation and response system, or even an XDR system as well. Or you may even have a, a SIM, security information and event management, system that you are 
taking logging information on all the logging details around your backup system as well. And so having an isolated recovery environment set up so that you can recover your data in a clean fashion and maybe even orchestrate a recovery out here into the cloud or maybe into another on-prem system as well. And don't forget that I know you're taking secondary copies over here as well, which may mean you might even be doing some type of tape backup. You may even be doing some cloud or you may even have some type of recovery vault over here as well or a hybrid storage combination over here as well. And so hope that this video was helpful for you and gave you some critical information about further isolating your data so when that cyber attack happens, you can recover quickly and you don't have to worry about whether this data on this recovery environment has been destroyed or is not clean. All right, so please hit that like button. Also share this video with your peers as well. And I'll be tuning in and coming back to you again with another TLDR video very soon. Thank you.